In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a cash receipt journal. Cash receipt journals are useful when applying payments to customer accounts, um, in particular when there is no document to apply the payment to. Um, so this could be like a prepayment um, or a deposit to account, for example. Now to achieve this, you need to start by searching for cash receipt journals. And this is this may not look like your system. Um, it depends entirely on how you have your system set up. But in this demonstration, we're just going to do a cash receipt. And then it takes you through to the uh, journal screen. So this screen, you can customize these columns. There will be a default set of columns, but you want the columns that I have um, on my screen here. Uh, we don't need the amount LCY. Um, and then it's just a case of running through the actual journal. So for example, um, I can select, let's say the payment was yesterday. The document type is a payment. The document number should uh, pre-populate automatically. The account type, well, we're actually taking this payment to a customer account. So you can, in theory, take a payment straight to a GL account. But in this case, we're going to go straight to a customer. And then we just select the customer account that we want to apply the payment to. The payment method code um, and this is useful for your end of day for example so we'll select in cash i'm not going to fill the amount in just yet um, but it, let's have a look where it's going to balance from so it's actually going to balance uh, from the um, petty cash or the till now this is uh, predetermined in your system so depending on where your cash receipt uh, journals um, how it's set up and um, the balance and account number could be different but it's always useful to actually check to make sure it makes sense so in this case i'm receiving cash in the payment method is in cash uh, and i want it to balance on the chart of accounts against the till um, so when you're receiving a payment to a customer it actually goes on the system as a credit so it must be a negative figure so i've typed in minus 500 because that's the payment that's going to this customer account that's going to balance against the till if I wanted to at this point, I could apply this payment directly to any outstanding documents that are on the account, but I don't want to do that. Um, in this example, um, I want you to consider that there are no documents to apply this payment to. Um, this is more of a prepayment, but if you, you can use this method to actually apply the payment directly to the document. If I didn't put minus 500 here um, and I attempt to post this, I'm just going to show you the error that we'll receive. So I go process post and it's telling me that the amount must be negative in the general journal line and this is because it's a payment to a customer. So the system understands that payments to customers must be a negative value. If I'd have selected a refund, i.e. I was refunding the customer, then a positive balance here would have been correct. So the system will prevent you from doing it in incorrect, so don't worry too much. Um, as long as you have the document type correct, it will be absolutely fine. So I'm going to go ahead and now post this journal. Uh, the journal was successful. So now we're just going to go and take a quick look at the customer ledgers. So if I look at the payments, I'll be able to see that £500 payment that's come in here. And if I go to the ledger entries, we can see that the invoice, uh, the payment is sitting on the ledger as open because there's still a remaining amount and that's because we've not applied it to anything yet. So if you do make a prepayment to an account, um, you will have to apply the payment to the invoice and there is another video explaining on how this works. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.